Hi guys, welcome back to Griffin's from Gaming Guides. Today we're going after another Dirt Rally 2.0 trophy, Rock and Roll, where you need to drive 66 kilometers at Monte Carlo in the DS21. Now in order to be able to get this trophy or achievement, you need to have the Season 1 DLC. You will either need to have owned the Deluxe Edition, the Year 1 Pass, or have bought the Monte Carlo Rally individually of your respective store. Easiest way to get this one done, and it is a grindy one, from the main menu, press R1 at RB until you reach the free play tab. Now select custom followed by create championship. Now add the Monte Carlo rally and make sure the vehicle class is set to H1 FWD. And when you reach the car selection screen, make sure you select the Citroen DS21, which is the blue and white car, as this is the only car that you're eligible to unlock this trophy or achievement with. The Lancia and the Mini won't be eligible for this one. It says it in the description. You have to choose the DS21. You can do any of the stages available as this is merely a complete stages trophy or achievement to make sure that you rack up the distance of 66 kilometers, which is just over 40 miles. The longest Monte Carlo stage is 6.75 miles, just under 10 kilometers. So if you repeat this stage, it will take seven valid laps to be able to get this trophy or achievement, seven valid runs. Now I say valid runs because if you don't cross the finishing line, it won't count and this game has no mileage tracker so it's best to grab yourself a pen and paper and make a note of how many times you've completed the stage that way you'll know how far along you are for this one now you do need to make sure that you cross the finishing line for this one if you quit out of the stage or you get a dnf or you have a power cut whatever might happen it won't count towards your total of your 66 kilometers that you need to rack up you have to cross the finishing line to be able to add that total so what you've already done, that will then accumulate in the background to unlock your trophy or achievement. Either way, doing multiple stages or doing the same stage over and over, once you do cross the 66 kilometer mark, the trophy or achievement will unlock at the end of that particular stage that you're doing. Now bear in mind, you're driving a very old vehicle here on some very icy roads, so take care. Because like I said earlier on, if you get a DNF, it will not count. You'll have to restart from scratch. There's a lot of tight hairpins in this, or there's a fair few tight hairpins in this one. And it's, the car doesn't want to control. Let's put it that way. Let's be a bit polite about it. You're driving a car from back in the day where things like traction control and grip and handling weren't really spoken about. So make sure that you drive very cautiously. It doesn't matter if it takes you 10 minutes to complete the stage. It doesn't matter if it takes you half an hour or an hour. Providing you manage to cross there without getting a DNF, you'll be well on your way to get this one. And it is probably the most grindy, kind of, I don't want to say boring, because the games, I, I like Don't Ready 2.0. That's one of the main reasons why we put up so much content on the channel here. But it is the longest type of grind that you can do in Don't Ready 2.0. Once you've got this one done and out of the way, everything else is a lot more enjoyable to be able to get 100% on your trophies or achievements. Right then, that's pretty much all I can say about this one. What I'll do, I'll skip it to the end of the race now, so that way you don't have to sit here and watch it just before we unlock our trophy or achievement. Very best of luck getting this one done. Right then guys, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. Let me know down in the comment section how you got on with the rock and roll trophy or achievement. Make sure you subscribe to Griffin's Gaming Guides. After you subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future Don't Really 2.0 content. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.